Hey guys, it's Amber, and I am so excited because it is December Daily 2023 Unboxing Day. I just got my box today, um, Friday, October 13th, so it's a good lucky day. And I kind of just pulled everything out so I can start going through it. I did take the packaging off of these, so I don't have to like unwrap that on camera. But, got a lot. <laughs> so I'll start with the album so I can get it out of the way. I have two of these. I went with the... Uh, red scripty 10 by 8 album. So I'm going to have two of those. All right, I've got my box off here to my left side. So let me get the lifestyle stuff out of the way here. So I got the mug. I haven't seen it yet here. So let me take a quick peek. I also got the t-shirt. So I have the follow la mug. I think that's a mistake. I'll have to check on that. I don't remember that being this year's design. Yeah, that's an old one, so I'm not sure. I think I had a whoopsie. So I'll check on that see what it's supposed to be because honestly at this point I cannot recall but I got my shirt um I decided to go with the t-shirt because usually if I'm wearing a sweatshirt I'm way too hot but I love the color can't wait to wear this while I'm scrapping in my Christmas jammies it's really nice and soft if you didn't get one I would recommend it it's, it is really really soft so I'm excited about that uh, let's see I almost don't even know where to start because there's so much so this is the Advent calendar, so I'm not going to open that on camera, but I did get that, so I'll set that aside for now. We've got all these. Basically, if it was paper, I bought it. So that's the main kit and paper. This Tamanaha kit, pattern paper. I did get the paint set. I'm excited to see that in person, actually. So let me pop that open. I debated getting it because I have a lot of paint here, but I wanted it to be in the colors of the kit. And I know Allie would make a good one because it's important to her. So, love that the gold seems like it's a little bit metallic. Got the flat black, which is always nice. And then the red and the green. I figured those would match the colors. So, very fun. Let me hold that off of here. And let me also show you the stamps quick. So all of them. My favorite, favorite, favorite is this wreath stamp. It is just so cool. I can't wait to play with it. And uh, Pam Baldwin gave so many cool ideas for that one. So six by eight. We've got the trees. I'm also really excited about these tag stamps. This one's also really cool. Lots of sentiments. Great uh, number stamp set. This is also a really, really great Paisley Press set. I always love Allie's handwriting. Love this outline one, that's really fun. And of course the tap stamp set. So, so much fun there. Let's just go through the embellishments and then I'll get to the kits later. So I got the six by eight chipboard set. I love how they did the um, punch out as a star shape. Um, usually what I do with these is, um, I'll put like a tiny bit of like mint tape or something on the back, which is like low tack so it doesn't tear to help keep them in place until I need them because they uh, fall out of the die. But I love the new die set. It looks really cool and the gold looks so great on there. So I'm excited about that. Here. I can kind of refill. Try to just get myself situated. There's the ornament for the year and the pin. I don't think I really said it was white. It's so cute. Just trying to get all my flat things together. So I got the six by eight transparencies. They're always fun to build on with like a three by eight photo. So 
we've got the Mary and Bright. I love the Nutcrackers this year. They're so darling. We've got Gather. And this is great because if you don't use this, you could always, for December Daily, I mean, you could use it for Thanksgiving. The ornaments, of course, just um, stunning. Sorry, I know I have a white dust, so it's a little hard to see, but it's so pretty. And then the wreath with the gold around it that says December Joys and the stripes, of course. And I love that no matter which way, it's still really bright. Like it's not a fake color on the back, so that's really great. I'll repackage later. I'll save some time. And then here I got these um, clear stickers. I'm excited about these because obviously they always do them for the um, little tiny ones, but these are bigger and look really pretty. So, love that. It's a fun idea. I got two sets of the new style tabs just because I use them year after year after year. So I always like to make sure I have more, but I love the gold. This is my favorite gold that they've done. I'm glad that they keep bringing it back because it's really stunning. But so, and, and, and again, these don't have to be December daily. Loved, captured, sweet, here and now, worth it, celebrate, lull, sparkling memories. None of these are Christmas specific. So actually kind of makes me wish they were a little bit more Christmas specific, but they're great for everything. And then I got two of these because um, I wanted to make sure if I needed something with the second letter, I would have the option. So those are really cool. I got this, not stencils, silk screen pack. Um, I opted not to go with stencils because I'm a little bit of a neat freak. <laughs> I don't like when things look messy. Stencils to me can kind of look messy sometimes. No offense to anyone who loves them, um, but the silk screens looked a little more detailed and crisp of a design, and I figured I can make my own stencils because I have um, silhouette stencil material, which I went out and bought, so I can make one of the ornament, which is kind of the only one I'm really, really wanting at the moment, based on Allie's big stencil project. So these look really cool. I'm excited to get to playing with these. Um, let me just go ahead and jump into these. Uh, I always love the 3x8 card and transparency set because, again, you can pair it with 6x8, um, 7x8 really eight and a quarter photo and then that and that makes a full 10 by 8 page so I use that a lot in my album so we've got this gorgeous green from that six by eight album with the gold on the back it shows silver but that's nice it's still bright green got a nice gold stripe this one is a frame with gold dots and it actually just looks like a metallic red on the back so that's fun I'm still waiting for them to start getting into metallic reds and greens I think that would really really be so fun uh, gold squares, bigger grid. This is green with gold, love that. The little snowflake pattern or asterisks. There's green with gold. We've got joy, red stars and like a scatter pattern, that's so cute. Green stripe, uh, Mary in big gold. This is um, like two it's like gold glitter grids and the plus signs together and then the green um, scribbly kind of stars cute 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 and then along with that is the paper and what's great about these is sometimes you need the design to be on top sometimes you need it to be on the bottom and even though the holes are punched sometimes you can flip it um, I've even cut the holes off before and moved it to the other side um, once in a while doable so we've got red stripes with like this diamond gold pattern we've got red stars more harlequin kind of diamonds Ooh, that's pretty and what's awesome too is if you don't need this you could make two three by four cards out of these green little tiny present in the corner there with some journaling lines love the directed journaling with christmas morning more gold stars Green stripes, Dear December, all the little icons, little tree, more diamonds, 
wish list. That's so cute with green. These are like gray and black stars, I guess. Just trying to figure out if they were green. More stripes, a little ornament, and Merry Memories featuring the floral pattern. these plastic cards. Really nice and big and bold. I thought at first they were vellum when I kept seeing the photos, but I've got Joy, Mary, Fala La, and some plain ones. This Christmas and another red one. They're just so cute. got the red number packs. So it's nice to see that they're not ginormous. Um, last year was the first year in a long time that I started mixing up my numbers. I also got the felt numbers here as well. These are a nice good size for not being too overwhelming. Got the canvas circles. I was excited about these. I've loved using the canvas um, strips for the last few years, but the circles is just a fun touch. You could try to stitch around it or just put a little stitch here or staple. So we got a wonderful time of the year, dashing through the snow. Lots of lyrics are cute. Merry and bright. Let your heart be light. Santa knows it's cute. No peeking. Over the river and through the woods. And a winter wonderland. Just really cute. There's a lot in there too. So it's always fun to mix and match a few each year. I got the wood star set because you can never have enough wood stars and they're like a painted but you could always just use the plain side if you wanted. Tons in there. Let me jump here. So I've got the plastic two by two tags and these are so cute. Um, I will take credit they were my suggestion. Um, in one of the scrapbook kits last year they did vellum tags in this shape and uh, in one of the like all day class events where everyone's live. I was like, Allie, you should make these the December daily plastic thing. And she's like, I'm going to write that down and I'm taking all the credit, <laughs> but they are so cute. Um, I know one of them does have a typo and everyone should have been, um, sent a digital to make up for it. So just heads up on that. So really really cute and this is going to be my product here it is the simple joys is smell up spelled wrong so there's a digital version of that tree i love the gold so adorable little nutcrackers those are so cute and you can see all the little stars the fall laws under the tree perfect i love this fall law heart that's been around for like years now um so yeah, these are going to be my project for the class this year. So I've got to come up with something creative. Obviously, you could just stick them in a 2x2 two two pocket page projector. But uh, hoping to do some fun stuff with them. And also, these little stars can end up becoming like confetti you could like stick into a pocket so that's a really fun touch that they did and these little pockets are so darling they're stitched and then you can just put something in there they're nice and thick they're not overly thick but just enough to add something they're not punched you could punch your own or make it a tag you know with ribbon um, things I'm loving in this season, warm winter wishes, 2023, so good to know to put that in the beginning or and make sure you use it in this album. December people, places, and things, and December me loves this so much. I love that too. It's so cute. So whenever I have something like this that I know I need to use in the album, um, I don't really do foundation pages 
um, like a lot of people do, but something like that I will stick into a page protector so I know to get it in an album. Uh, let's see here. Let's do envelopes. We've got the vellum envelope. That's um, stripes, which is fun. And then this one, oh my gosh, that's just so pretty. It's like on craft. Love that. I never usually use this one, but this year I've got to find some way to use that design. And then the plastic one I always use for my Christmas cards. I, I like how they used to have the holes punched in it though, but I'll just use a uh, tab. But they expand well and they hold almost every size of Christmas cards. So I've never had an issue with that. So that is nice to have. And then, um, I guess I'll jump with these. These are the specialty card packs. This is such a great idea. Really love these. Can't wait to use them. got a couple three by fours here. Loving the season of all things merry and bright. These are vellum, leave, tradition, and then a stripe. Just so fun. You would you could write with a slick writer on these or use um, sticker paper for journaling. And then for the four by sixes we've got this 25. Dear Santa, care of the North Pole. The half wreath which is so pretty. gold square um, like frame that half diamond there and then here we're moving into transparency so we've got an ornament that you could um, do something really cool to make that a see-through pocket green diamond gold frame this is moments and then green ornaments we've got so much joy and this one's cool you probably cut that down to a four by four if you needed to here for all the merry making perfect for journaling or a photo and to all a good night. I love stuff like that. So you can know right to put that on your Christmas Eve stuff. Um, the older I get, the more I understand that I don't need other people's permission to celebrate the holidays in a way that makes me and my family happy. I choose joy. That's such a great quote. And gold stripes for journaling and another frame. It's really pretty on the craft. So that's a really fun pack. We've got die cut set here. I forget the official title for this one. Usually I'm on my game more. <laughs> Sorry guys. So we've got the May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. It's really cute. There's like that little rip there. And the, the heart, I always love doing the heart. It's a cute cross edge pattern. You can use that for anything. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Um, twinkle lights forever. That's adorable. With the tag. Got a couple tags here. This is also great for prompts. And if you don't think you could use it in this way, you could always punch them out. December around the house. Which a what a great idea to put journaling or little mini photos and to again get you an idea for something to do. So cute. You can do it on day four. You know, four things. Put a big photo on the back. She's she's a little genius. Saying yes to a season of savoring and finding joy in all small moments. I always love the half circles. So we've got Noel and then like a, it looks like a piece of candy. So that's fun, like a peppermint. And the frame with all the circles punched out. So cute. Love that as well. Gotta protect those other ones better. Then we have the pockets. So for the bigger ones here, that was like part of the packaging there. So the, the bigger ones here, we have Mary and Noel. And then that pops out with some space for journaling or a photo. We've got plus signs. Here we go. I mainly bought this for the four by fours because you've got the stars, the stripes, and the gold foil print. Like, they're just so cute. Of all those. And 
And the die cut set. So, so many cool designs in here. Last year, I really, really used a ton of die cuts. So I anticipate I will this year. Sometimes it's hard to even fit them all in. But um, lots of flat embellishments this year for sure. So we've got lots of stars here. Star Wars. We've got some titles. Mary and Bright, Love and Joy. Fall La, which is so cute. Peace. It's weird, I've got like holes punched in the middle there. Hmm. I wonder if those are supposed to be all the way punched out or not. I don't know. Um, we've got Mary on Craft, December. And that's the other cool thing that they did too. I really like that they mix it up. Um, and I love these big circles. So we've got Peace on Earth, Happy Holiday Moments, and Documenting This Christmas Moment with the gold. Love that. And then we've got the little circles that are plain, our special story. More twinkle lights, another plain one, the pattern 25, and let your heart be light. December people, places, and things. We've got tons of little trees here. We've got some presents. Another star I missed. Going into more craft now. So we've got the ornaments and the presents. Here's another craft circle. Another present. A little greenery with some berries. Not green, but it's white greenery. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call that. Um, we've got Let Your Heart Be Light. This cute joy. That's awesome. We've got another present. Some little stars and asterisks. Some more circles, Noel, Love, and Joy. More ornaments. The details on these are just so pretty. Just gorgeous. Got Jingle All the Way. And then these nutcrackers are just something else with all the gold and they just outdid themselves with these die cuts with these nutcrackers are just so cute so so cute and these ornaments I can't wait to use like all of this it's just gorgeous that they actually gave it to us in a really big package so you don't have to try to force them into something that they're too small to fit into. That's a good thing. So that's the die cuts. We are cruising right along here. Let me slide these over. I've got my little target bird here. <laughs> so let's take a look. We've got the specialty paper pack. these are going to be stunning. So we've got this vellum with all of Allie's handwriting. I'm not sure if this is like exactly the same as, definitely different. It's not identical from, from what I can see, but that's so pretty. It's just like a nice little resting page almost for me. Anyway, the ornament transparency, just beautiful. And then this vellum floral, I need like 20 of those. Gold polka dots, and we've got the vellum gather, gold stripes, and they're like a little bit uh, distressed, which is cool, not just straight, straight. Vellum with the grid, love that they can't kind of change this up a little bit every year, so it's always just a little different, or different material even. Mary and Bright, perfect for like right next to, uh, you know, starting a title or layering over a big photo. These tags, which you could cut out or do something with as a really cool page. And then we've got stripes. I've got like flakes all over my stuff here. But that is the specialty papers. Okay, then we have the add-on paper pack. Might as well go through that. this. 
I know Allie already like pre-punched out all of hers. Another 23. I think that's the only one with gold on it. Yeah. More cookies. And I've got that cross hatch pattern like a red. And then here we have more twinkle lights. Just so cute. Still easily cut downable for six by eight. Um, just like holly kind of pattern. Um, we've got like a candy cane red stripe. Kind of a little, it's not perfect straight lines. It's kind of like a little messy. I actually really love this one. It's like snowball kind of shapes, but green with gold, white with red stripes. A humbug, just never know. Green cross hatch kind of stars. This one, I'm still debating if I'm going to cut these out like Allie did or use them like all at once. I don't really know yet, but it's always fun. This one almost kind of looks like craft because of that tan color with the green stripe. It's kind of like pattern, like a wrapping paper. We've got trees. I love these stars. They're so pretty. And then um, I love this one. These kind of like could be TVs or presents, one of the way they look. Um, but last year they did something like this with frames. And I really had fun playing with that pattern paper specifically and finding like little photos and journaling spots and pattern paper. So I have a feeling I'll end up doing something like that as well. Here's like the album print, bright red and white with our handwriting. This is like a, it's not black, but it's like a dark, either dark green or like charcoal. I think it's just a really interesting green gray um, with the gold snowflakes. Got gather. This is like, it's supposed to be red, I think, but it's like a, Almost orange and green, X's and O's. Um, another grid with gold. Love those. Always fun to fill in all those spots. And we've got like a plaid check pattern, a bigger scale red and gold dot, and a, another like holly kind of floral. paper pack and I think I'll just quickly go through the main kit paper pack while we're at it and then we'll go through the two kits. It's hard to believe it's only October and we're going through all this stuff right now. It's crazy but it'll be here before we know it. So I love that they did vellum. I don't think there's transparencies in here, but vellum in the main kit papers this year. It's just such a great, great idea. And they've really come so far with pattern papers lately. I love it. So the joy on vellum, it's just stunning. I love the wreaths every year. This one's really cute with all of them. Um, so there's so many. The so much joy is really cute. One thing I love about this kind of pattern paper is that this is a good one that would like do really well cut up and use throughout the album to kind of help it flow, you know, provide unity and stuff. Like you could do a couple different three by fours or like one big six by eight and then a couple three by fours, however you want to, but this is one that I probably wouldn't need to use all of it at one time. I would probably cut this up. But we'll see how I end up using it. Another ornament, or I mean, a um, star pattern. All these cute tags again. The nutcrackers, so cute. Almost makes me want to start a nutcracker collection or buy one just to have a reason to use this paper. The ornament paper, I love that. We've got a red star scatter pattern there. The album art work there with the gold, so stunning. Gold, these aren't gold gold, but like gold trees on cream. And then the loving one, two, three, four, five. Love that you can just punch that and just add photos or journaling. Got plus signs. This one's an interesting one. Um, I think I would probably end up cutting these out more than anything. Or you could like bend them around something by folding them in half, I think. Got messy stripes in December. So I think I'm gonna 
put my favorite little vellums right back on top there. All right, you're cruising. kit here. Let's see if I can get it open. Okay. Oops. Try not to drop things here. So let's just do the pattern papers real quick. Love that they went bigger this year so they're not just six by eight. I think they might have done that last year too. Um, love this paper. With her handwriting it's so pretty and then they went blue with like a really pretty like starburst northern star kind of pattern no gold though she always has such a beautiful red scripty kind of font little calendar that you can fill in yourself this looks like blue holly berries a little like random pattern a full floral um, another northern star and another greenery. Those are really pretty. I think for some reason I thought these all had gold on them, but none of them do. And they're all plain backs with just a little grid. So these chipboard frames are super cute. I love the way they did this with the gold. These have gold. So I believe there's yeah, one four by six. This says eat, drink, and be merry. And then two three by fours. Tis the season to be joyful. And the best gift is all of us together. So really, really cute. I hope they use this die again. Because it's really, really pretty. The way they did it with the sentiment in the middle like that. And they could even do it upside down. And it would look really cool got the chipboard set here. I always love her chipboards. All through the house. Good food, good company, good times. Deck the halls. Holiday season magic. Joyful hearts. Feeling sentimental. So great. I just gotta be really careful I don't cut the cards here. Are all double sided. So we've got Very Merry Christmas, A Joy and Peace, Let the Holiday Festivities Commence. I love that on the color version. Let Our Hearts Be Light. This one I love how it looks like a postcard. So just a note for Dear Santa, we've got um, the frame or holly. And here we've got um, like a blue plaid or it's the reverse color. It's the merriest, sorry, it's like stuck. Merriest time of the year with gold. Got that Northern Star pattern in green or white. Yes to this, all the holiday festivities, quality time with family and friends, or a quiet and peaceful month, or all three. So ready for the holidays. Oh, what fun. That's like one of the uh, silk screens. Multicolor on red, the floral, this like, confetti pattern I guess I don't know what you'd call it sprinkles one side says December tis the season to deck the halls spread good cheer have ourselves the merriest of times so I like that half half happiest the details deck the halls nice bold green here's the story as I recall it or as told by love this so much with gold got a evergreen floral another northern star Spending time with my favorite people and that northern star kind of looking pattern with gold. So, really, really great cards. And last, we have some vellum pieces. So, 
I've got let's see here. All is calm and love this. Celebrating holiday traditions, a very merry Christmas, and some trees. We've got several of those stars. Five, oops, six, I think. Six in different colors. I like stuck together there, sorry. And we've got some phrases. So we've got so much love for this. Believe in magic. Mary's time of the year, joy and peace. Hearts filled with cheerfulness. Uh oh, <laughs> let's keep Mary happy around the tree. And twas the weekend before Christmas, which is a nice change be instead of just twas the night before Christmas. So that's kind of cool. So you can look up the dates and slide that into a page protector, and then you already have a little jump start. So that's the Paisley Press Kit. And we just have the main kit left. And I am loving everything so far. And then off camera, I will take a look at the star, not star, the advent calendar, because I have no patience and I want to see it all in person. And honestly, by the time we get closer to December in like another six weeks, I'll have forgotten half of it anyway. So it's almost like a surprise. got these ornaments, not ornaments, these are ornaments, <laughs> we've got these wreaths that are like nice thick cardstock, so it looks like three of each kind, nice and big to play with, okay. like static thing here. There's so many things you can do with these, and I love that they gave us like several so we can actually like play with them and not board them. Let's do these ornaments next. We're gonna go with, go with Amber's favorites here because they're stunning. So there's four different colors two reds and two greens, and they're like vellum pockets. So cute. Um, there's felt trees here. I'm not going to take them out, but it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of those. These are the gold, oops, mine has a hole. These are gold circles, one through 31. Um, last year they were strips and I did use those like Allie had, um, inspired everyone to do like a table of contents. So I might try to do that this year. It'll be harder with the circle, but I think still doable. Let's do these big titles here. I uh, love using these um, when they've been like the big words for the past couple years. So I like that they've done a little bit different things for titles. So around the tree, December joys and love this tradition. I love how it's kind of like a little open ended so you can kind of pick whichever tradition you want. Um, we've got these green chipboard phrases. I'm not going to get them all out. Um, I wish sometimes that they would pick different colors for these because then you could stack them together. Those are cute. I'm excited about those. These layered um, stars. Cute. You could add like a rub on or something to these if you have like Tim Holtz rub ons. Love that. And these chipboard stars. You can never go wrong and have enough chipboard stars ever. Let's see what we've got here. We've got numbers. Looks like there's two sheets. They're tinier than I expected. Like these ones are like itty bitty. So love that gold. It's my favorite gold, like I was saying. These are these four by four crack pockets with holes already punched. And the gold tabs. So we've got Joy, Love, and Noel. We've got phrases here. So these are cute. Twinkle lights, hot chocolate, wrapping paper, cookies, holiday tunes, family visits. I want two front teeth and whole hoop in you. 
This is the best part of the season. It's the magical time of the year. Sometimes the unexpected things turn out to be the very best things. Taking time to reset to prepare for the holidays. Our decorating traditions and the perfect day to stay in and watch Christmas movies. That is all the time in Christmas. I mean in December for me. And it's a good thing that the Phillies won't be playing anymore because I'm obsessed right now, guys. You can see I don't even have any watch bands. So here we've got all these plastic pieces. Oh my god, look at that nutcracker. He's huge. And he has a gold beard. Mm -hmm. So cute. And here's like a little mini one. So we've got a couple different kinds of trees. That's cute. It's like gold or silver. They're like funky trees. Um like a ornament I guess or something here's another tree we've got some funky wonky stars some asterisk things and some ornaments nothing beats this little nutcracker though good job Lisa if you happen to be seeing this I think she designed the nutcracker for them this year and he's so darling And then there's the vellum die cut set and the card. And we are, for root all friends, so exciting. Makes me want to start playing with stuff, but I don't really make stuff in advance. So. It just makes me start putting things in pot, um, in pockets, or I start um, organizing all my things. That gets me excited too. But we shall see. So we've got big tags, we've got peace, loving this cheerful season. Cheers, toast to family and friends, and wish dreaming of this on Christmas. Let me tuck these back in here. And we've got this shape tag, making spirits bright, a tree, a floral print, and 25. I don't necessarily love the diamonds, I would probably cut that off. Um, but you know, whatever teach their own. Love this guy though, so cute. And we have more like banner or flag style tags. We've got the nutcracker again, red stars, a plaid, and joy. And we've got these phrases. Getting in the holiday spirit, tis the season to be jolly, a holiday of winter and joy, wonder and joy, not winter, laughing all the way, all things merry and bright, loving this time of year, one memorable gift, and eat, drink, be merry. A couple of these are a little hard to read, but cute overall. Some circles, we've got Holly Jolly 25, and some asterisk snowflakes, and some flags. We've got jingle, magic, and gather. And I always like how they change direction too, because you don't you can't always have things coming from the same direction. It just doesn't work. So that is all those film tags. And last but not least, we've got all the cards. We have four by sixes. We've got today's details, moments of delight, one through five. I love those gold numbers. They're so fun. Um, what I love about our tree this year, I always love doing that kind of story, documenting December details in gold. This you could cut in half and do two, three by fours, really. It doesn't have to stay that way. Merry and bright, big and bold with that gold. So cute. Memory one, two, and three. Again, doesn't have to go in December daily, but these little diamond gold things match the making a list and checking it twice i think there's oh these are all different um making spirits bright the bottom's the same treasured holiday traditions the sounds of christmas have a holly jelly christmas the most wonderful time of the year the sights of christmas and spreading christmas cheer and then the three by fours are people and places and things remembering gathering little nutcracker merry and bright celebrating i love these consistent cards decorating and gifting and let your heart be light 
so that is everything friends definitely gets me more in a mood to be crafty i know i haven't been around much lately i'm sorry i have i'm a phillies watching person now i work i watch the phillies and not much else i've been so busy lately um i've also just kind of lost my mojo so i'm hoping this will like kick it a little bit more back into gear um because i need it but uh yeah i'm excited to uh start watching the classes and make stuff for my class and uh, i can't wait to start sharing stuff with you guys so i will see you soon thanks for watching and bye fam